ease remission of our sins, and the redemption and salvation from Eluia. Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 to 7, And when the time came for ease salvation to be fulfilled he, came, as Eluhim e, and the sovereign king, whom was he, and Eluia, and Eluhim and Eluhim e, the sovereign Od, who was conceived in the womb, and whom came forth into ease world, and in all of ease fullness. And Eluia was born of a woman. And Eluhim came forth and he, became Eluia. And Eluia was born as the king and the savior. And whom came into E's world, and was born under E's laws, to redeem all those whom were sinning, and whom were under the curses of sickness and death. And so that we all might be delivered and be healed and be saved, and also that we all might be redeemed, and be made E's heirs. And also that we all would receive E's reconciliation, and E's atonement for our sins. And also E's remission for our sins. And also that we all would be adopted, into E's holy kingdom, and so that we all would become E's heirs. So, then my friends it is because of E's salvation, and E's redemption, and E's offering of atonement for our sins. That we all have been given a second chance to become the heirs of Eluya. Even though we all were the children of God. And even though we all were born under the law of sin and death. But now friends, we all can have access to ease salvation. And also to ease redemption. Because of ease atonement and also because of ease remission for our sins. Because we all were estranged and alienated from ease holy kingdom and also from the promises of Elohimi. But now because of ease love and ease grace and also ease mercy, we all can now be redeemed and be delivered and be healed and be set free, and be saved. And friends Eluia, the Almighty E, came himself to atone for our sins. And whom came down from E's heaven to redeem us and to save us. And whom have sent E Yah on hand, E's beloved brethren whom is better known as John, and whom came beforehand to be a witness, for Eluhimi. And who came and was the forerunner, and whom came also to be a witness about whom was E Eluya and whom testified that it was E, the Holy One whom was Eluhim or Elohim and whom was E Eluhim and Elohim E, and that it was E Eluhim E, whom was E, and whom was E, the Odd. And that it was E whom was E Eluya. And also that it was E, whom was E Christ. And also that it was E Eluya whom was E, the Savior, and whom was E Eluhim, whom came down from E's, heaven to offer us an invitation into E's holy kingdom. And when E on hand whom was better known as John first came, then E on hand was a witness for E Eluhimi. And E on hand, introduce us to E Eluhimi, whom was, and whom is still E, the Holy One, and also E, the Holy Spirit, and also E Eluya, the Son, and that by us believing in E's holy sacred names. And if we all would believe that it was E Eluhimi whom was E Christ, and also that it was E, whom was E, the Odd. And whom it was whom was the Holy One, and whom was called the Holy E, and whom came down from E's heaven to redeem us, and to reconcile us, and to save us. Then friends, we all would be saved if we would endeavor to worship and also to give our adherence and reverence to E Eluhimi. And also if we were to believe with all our hearts that it was E, whom was E Christ, and also whom was Eluya, and also E Eluya and E Elu Eluya. Then we all would be saved. And if we all would also reject the idolatry of the worshipping of God, and also the lordolatry of the worshipping of Jesus, then we all would be saved. And then we all would be called by E Eluhimi. And then we all would be invited into the holy kingdom of E, Eluhimi, whom is E, the heavenly Father. So, my friends now we all have a sovereign king, and also a sovereign father. And that we all shouldn't be no longer, the slaves to shaitan and also sin and that we all shouldn't be no longer the servants to God, nor should we be under the influences of shaitan. Nor neither should we also be bounded by sin. And also that we all shouldn't be under, the curses of sin and neither should we no longer have the sentence of death over us. But that we all should be set free, and neither should we be enthralled by shaitan, nor neither should we be deceived by shaitan any longer. And that neither should we be deceived by any god, 
nor neither by the Jesuits, and neither should we be deceived by the deceiver Judas Jesuit Jesus. And neither should we be the children of God whom is also called Shaitan. Because we all now have full access to ease salvation. Hallelujah. And now that we all are ease, then we all wouldn't be cousined by Satan anymore. And neither would we all be reserved for God, and neither would we be the children of God. But we all would become ease. Because only then we all would be saved, all because of the loving kindness, and the tender mercies of Elohimi, and because of the works of Elohimi. And then we all would be the heirs of Elohimi, and because of the works and the grace of Elohimi's Christ. And then we all would be emanated by Elohimi and we all would be free. All because we all would be saved through ease love and ease grace and also by ease mercy, and also because of ease easiness, and also because of the works of the atonement, from Elohia. And also from the works of ease salvation, and also from ease remission for our sins. And friends, it is because of E, whom is E Christ. And also because of the goodness and the greatness and also because of the sovereignty of E Elohim E, whom is E the odd. And also because of the easiness of E whom is E the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Praise E the odd. So let it be, E Elohim. Hallelujah. Thank you. Friends thank you for taking the time to read and also to listen to my messages. And also for subscribing. I really enjoyed sharing E's gospel with you all. And I hope that you all have been blessed by these messages. And that many of you have seen the deception of Shaitan, and also the lies and blasphemies of the Jesuits. And also that your eyes have been open up to the truth. And that you all have now learned whom is our adversary and also whom is God and Jesus. And that you all have now learned the sacred holy names of Elohim, And whom is E Christ, and also whom is E the Odd. And also whom is E, the Sovereign King of all the heavens and the earth. And my prayer is this, that you all would continue to embrace E, and also E's holy sacred names. Because E is coming back very soon. And we all would be with E Elohim. And we all would behold E Elohimi for ourselves. Praise E the odd. Because we all would have overcome the name of God and Jesus. And we all would be rewarded by E Elohimi. And we all shall be given E's gift of everlasting life. And then we shall live forever in the holy kingdom of E Elohimi. Friends, it would be worth it all, when we all behold E Elohia. Hallelujah. Praise E the odd. Thank you. Please check out my message which is called, Whom is God the Father, Thank You. The End